So, today I would like to talk about this roof here. It looks amazing. It's called Zollinger. See? Yeah, he's missing an N there. Um, Zollinger Lamelda. And we want to have a look at it now and see if we can replicate this with a yeah with sheet material so before in the past i've worked on this tunnel here um however it's a lot of work here blah, 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 blah. see a lot of work too much work actually and for this tunnel to get to this stage you're gonna have to work quite a bit so and it's pretty easy to cut but it's very hard to assemble because all the screws have to be put in perfectly all right back to the Zollinger la merda so there's different versions of it if you look at it the angle here, this angle, is different. It's not always the same. So everybody has a little bit their own version of it. So what's this angle all about? So I've drawn a couple of examples here. That's one. That's one example. And you can see the green strut here it's always this strut always repeats itself and here and here so it's this green strut um, and it gets butted by two other struts actually it's arcs arcs butt into arcs so and here I have two other examples. Uh, so this is the angle. The more you change the angle, the more you get to this. But this is probably a bad example because the distance from this uh, butting arc to this butting arc is pretty far away. And here too, from here to here it's pretty far away and my assumption is that this will be one the distance here will be one material strength to optimize the, the structure let's take a look see well actually I'm cheating uh, I'm really cheating because you can see here it's one material strength this line the distance between these two lines here is exactly one material strength. Okay, so there's a program that has this little arc uh, inside. It's called Dome. Um, it's called Zoom Dome et Compagnie. And I want to go over it really quickly um, so you can take away this beam up there and but let's leave it here for now mm, although I don't I don't want it but it's, it's it's better to explain it this way so the angle here if we change it we get to something more yeah tighter from this here you can see the difference in the, in the angle you can also see here it's tighter and here it's wider the green one is really wide this one is in the middle and this one is tight okay then the distance so you can note that there's the distance here is 
not an option. We can't say how far away those two nodes are. Um, so the porte in French is the length of the tunnel. Let's make it 16. Ah, no, it's, sorry, it's the span. It's the span. Let's go back to 8. Um, la profondeur is actually the length of the tunnel. Oh, that's too long. Let's go. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Let's go 15. That's a 15 meter long Solinger roof tunnel. Okay, this is the height and this is the span. Porte is span. If we make it into 12, it's just a different section of a different uh, uh, circle here. It's no longer 180 degrees, it's, I don't know, 100 degrees maybe. So, okay, now that we've gone over this, we go back to this structure. Here we can see he has some beams to support it, and probably that's a good idea. All right, so haven't been doing much tutorials lately, but because I've been working on uh, JavaScript, here's a, maybe I can find a little program for you. See, this is the a little calculator I made. Um, to calculate strut rotation. So if you have um, the strut factors of a geodesic dome, you can calculate the strut rotation and then you can calculate the cuts. So this is really the secret behind acidome, which I've been studying uh, pretty intensely. So back to this little roof. Now the next challenge in a sense, well, it's not really, really a challenge, but we want to make this into arcs that can actually be constructed and not only lines. So it has to be the advanced. Why did I choose arcs and not lines? Because with arcs, and I used the three point, three point arc tool to make these arcs. The advantage with arcs is that they are in a plane, so you can you can already see that you can pretty easily um, get the structure. It's gonna you have to make the arc longer so they intersect, and then it's a done deal. But obviously, this is uh, just a sketch. <laughs> And those need to be components, and everything has to be the same component because you don't want to repeat the procedure 200 times. And in reality, you don't want to cut it either by hand. You want to work with a CNC machine. All right, that's, that's it. I hope you like this structure as much as I do. Um, I'm going to try to build this for my garden.